Hey, good morning, everyone. Last minute tutorial for you here for the big game. Somebody asked on our Facebook group last night how to create a stencil for this. So I thought I'd jump on real quickly and show you how. This can be done entirely within Design Space. I'm working in the offline version. There are no downloads needed for this at all. I'm gonna move this back just a smidge, okay. So um, first of all, we're gonna create this arrow. And the reason I wanna do the arrow at the beginning is because I'm going to weld it. If you are new to creating stencils in design space, then I always encourage if there's a weld to be done, do it at the very beginning of your video. And the reason being, once this project will be saved, I can't undo the weld and I can't undo anything that I did before the weld. So we will start with that. I'm gonna bring in a triangle and a square. And I'm also going to bring in two circles. And the reason that we need to bring in so many shapes is because this is curved. So we're going to need to get that curvature from circles. These come in at 3.111. So I am going to make one of them smaller than the other, 2.75. And then I'm going to, you can either draw a box around them with your mouse or you can select, oops, that did not make the size I wanted, 2.75. So you can either draw the box around them, you can hold your shift key down and click, click on both of them, or over in the layers panel, you can hold the shift key down and click on both of them. So three ways to accomplish that same thing. We're gonna align and center and then slice and then get rid of all these extra pieces. So now we have this part here. I'm gonna unlock the corner so that I can make that more elongated. Now for getting just this piece off, we're gonna need three squares. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock that so I can bring it more rectangularly and Duplicate that over here in the layers panel. Put one at the top, one at the bottom, and one more along the side. Because if I were to just slice that, we would be stuck with these two pieces that are stuck together. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice them all. The slice function only works with two items chosen in the layers panel. You cannot choose more than two layers over here. So you can, here's another one, if you're going to weld, do it at the beginning of your project so that it doesn't matter that you can't undo it. We're gonna weld all three of these squares. Weld, and we're gonna choose the squares and this oval and slice. Get rid of all these extra pieces. Now we're left with just this piece and then we're gonna duplicate it for the other one. Here's our top of our arrow and you can unlock the corner, shape that to whatever shape you like. If you like it more elongated or if you wanted a perfect triangle, you can just play with that for whatever looks desirable to you. I'm gonna elongate this a little bit more. and place that and you can eyeball that where it's roughly in the middle and then we're going to weld this together now we'll have the one for the left side we'll duplicate one for the other side and this one while it's still clicked on there i'm going to flip that horizontally so that it goes the other direction so we have those they're ready for us later once we get all of our letters on there again i only do those at the beginning so that the welding is done at the very beginning of the project now we're going to insert some text and i will typically go into my text here and choose system fonts so that i'm looking at only the fonts that are on my device unless you just have some favorites or want to use the ones within Design Space. So text, 
and I chose within my system fonts Comic Sans MS and I chose the bold style for an X. I'm going to do the same, a separate text box I want to do the O. And then as you can see, this O, if you're gonna make this on plastic, you need to bridge this. So we're gonna bring in a square to bridge that O. And I wanna do that before I duplicate them because then I only have to do it once. I unlocked the corner, made that a skinny rectangle, and I'll typically make it roughly the same thickness as whatever I'm bridging or just a little bit less, just depends on how thick it is. This is a nice thick one. I'm gonna put my box around those, align, and I wanna center that so that it is cut in half. They're still chosen, so I'm going to slice them. Let me pull my O away and see if I like the way that looks. It looks good. It looks like it will cut well. It's got a nice open space. So I'm gonna draw a box and delete those. Now, disclaimer, I don't really know all that much about football. I have no idea if this is how many men are on the field. This is a recreation of the picture that somebody had asked, how do I make this? So I'm making it the way that the picture was. Um, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 men on the field, I hope. Anyway, so I'm going to duplicate this guy 10 times. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I have a bunch on there still. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. Those from, were from a previous version where my husband walked in and interrupted my video. Let's see. All right, now I'm gonna bring these to where they're all aligned at the top just to bring them all on the same level. And now we can start playing with the placement. I know that four of them I'm gonna bring down a little bit. These I'm gonna separate just a bit so that either end is separated, draw a box around them, align, and I'm gonna distribute them horizontally. Now I can play with the spacing. You can see there's a little extra space here and a little extra space here. So I'm gonna bring these three over. I'm just gonna click on them and I'm using my arrow to go one over. You could also just drag them over and if you need to, you could um, align the tops again if they moved. So I need one more in there. So I'm going to make a little space and grab another one. So I need one more in there. So that's here again, I'm moving them and I, they get a little bit off from the tops. I'm going to say align the tops. And then I want the two in the middle to be together. These two on the end to be together. And these three over here to be together. And you can play with that spacing however you want them to be. There we go. And now I need to get, let's see, two, three, two. Oh, I did not need that guy. Sorry, my bad. I got too many people. Oh, I did need him. My, did, my spacing was just off. I'm going to put him back, but I'm going to move this one over. So we need two, two, and three. And then these guys, I'm gonna need one more because I stole one of them, duplicate. And we're just gonna place these, um, again, kind of duplicating what the picture was that somebody put on and asked for help with. So underneath the second one-ish, then that one was a little bit lower. This one was over here, kind of between these two guys and down a bit. 
this arrow, we'll go ahead and do our X's. So again, we need to duplicate our arrow and I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven there. So I'm gonna duplicate six times just to get these guys positioned. And even in this font, though it's the same font, the letters do not come out the same size and I want them to be the same size. So I'm gonna look at one of these O's and it's 0 0.471 in the height, or excuse me, the width. I'm gonna change that to 0 0.471 and then I'm gonna unlock the corner so that I can make the height the same as well, 0 0.535. 0.535. Now I'm gonna lock that. And actually I should have done that before I duplicated them. So I'll bring him back up here. So that's six of that guy. So we'll put these X's roughly above the O's. And these don't necessarily have to be exact. It's just wherever your men are positioned on the field. Align, I'm going to align the tops of those. And I like that placement. Might bring this guy over just a bit. Realign the tops. Align top. And then I need my extra ones that were above. So we need one, two, three, four above. Duplicate two, three, four. One of these guys goes over here. One is above the second one. This one goes between these two groups, roughly on the same align bottom field as that one. So I'm gonna grab those two with my shift key, align, I'm gonna align the bottom. This one, this last one is up slightly. There we go. So now we have all of our X's placed, all of our O's placed. And I was going to duplicate one of these, just the bottom part for right here, before I welded it and I forgot. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that. And then we're going to use this one with a square. We're going to slice, oop, not images, slice off a piece of that from the triangle. So select both, slice, and I just want this piece right here. So I'll need that in a bit. Get rid of this, get rid of this, and this. All right, so now we can place our arrows. You can unlock the corner to resize. If you need to change the angle on it, first we're gonna resize it and put it right here. Now I want to I do want to change the angle on it a little bit. There. And that you could again play with till you like the way it lo looks. Probably not going to play with it too much. I don't want to take up too much of the video doing that, but you'll play with that till you like the way that looks. And you'll do the same over on the other side from this bottom O. We're going to unlock that. From the bottom O and it just points out a bit above this other O here and I don't want it too close to my O and then this one here we're gonna unlock that and make that smaller Move this guy out. Because this came from over here. And then we're just going to get another shape. So all of this is 
done with shapes except for the X and the O. Unlock the corner and we just need a line to go above this. So there you have it. Now, let me move these guys out of my way here. I'm gonna hide, I'm gonna group those and hide them. So I'm gonna hide that group. With this little eyeball right here, I'm gonna hide those so those won't go to my cut screen or anything. I'm gonna put a box around all of this and group it together. Bring in a shape, which is gonna be your stencil square. And this you'll have to determine the size by what is your cookie. Um, if this is going on a three and a half inch wide cookie, let's say, by a two point, oh, I need to unlock, unlock that. You can unlock it here or here. 2.5, let's say it's going on a plaque. And then I'm gonna make my square five and a half inches. And for the video, I'm gonna turn that white so you can see what this looks like. Arrange, send that to the back so that this is on the front of it. Select both, arrange, or excuse me, align, center. And down here at the bottom, we're going to attach. You will see some people at this point, at the very end, they will slice that out rather than, they would weld all those pieces together and slice it out. I recommend that you group and attach, and the reason being, if you cut this out, then you go to make your cookie and realize that you made it the wrong size or you made some kind of error, in order to undo it, you have to undo like six steps. If I attach this, cut it and realize I've made a mistake, all I have to do is come back in and detach to make whatever changes I wanna make. So it's a lot less steps if you just simply attach it. And then now, I don't know if, let's see, I don't have my machine connected here, but there you go. On the cut screen, it is your five and a half inch stencil square with all of your pieces cut out of it and bridged. If you have any questions, feel free to place them in the comments.